Hey what's up, Jin here from Coding Quick Tips and today I will show you how to render this little picture onto our windows that we have created in the previous lesson. Therefore I have opened up my image in paint.net and I've drawn it here uh, with a transparent background as you can see. Um, here is transparent and I always would recommend you to use transparent backgrounds um, at your images because it will just look much nicer in your game if you don't have a white background at all files that you draw. I just saved it as .png because the PNG format supports the transparent background. You should not save it as a JPEG because JPEG doesn't support the transparent background and because of that it would you lose the transparency and the background would just turn white. As next step I will add the image to the project folder to actually to actually use it. Um, therefore I will create an e folder where I will keep all my resources that I will use in my project. So just hit right click onto your project folder, hit new folder. I will call it res but you can call it whatever you want. Now I just drag in the image or all the resources I want to use in my project, hit copy files and press ok. Now we have added our uh, image to the project and as next step we will need to create a variable to hold it. So just define a new variable with private and as a uh, data type image and then the name that you can choose. I will call mine I. You will need to import image and you will always uh, use the image class provided by Slick to work with images if you make a game in Slick 2D. So just hover over and click import. And I must say it could be really nasty to import every single thing of Slick. You must always hover over and if you don't need it you must delete the import. Um, to prevent this I will just delete all the imports and I will only import Slick.star. And now we have imported all the things from Slick into our project. Uh, now we will need to actually load the image into the variable. Therefore go to the init method where you will do all your picture loading stuff. Never ever load the picture in the render or update method. This would cause massive lags so always um, import images in the init method. Type i equals new image. So here we created a new image and the uh, image class takes as a constructor, as, um, as an argument, a string and the string is the path to the files that we are using. We could either do an absolute path like c slash and send our file, any path and send our file, but I wouldn't recommend this because it only works on your computer and you can't move around your project. Um, you should always use relative file passes. In our case, the relative pass will start inside of our project folder, so um, we must start at this layer. So this means we can start at the rest folder because our image is inside of the rest folder and it's called ball.png. Now we have loaded the image and if we now hit run, nothing will happen because we still have to render it. The rendering will happen in the <coughs> render method. Um, so go into the render method and here we can render our image. The most basic um, thing of rendering is just type um, your image dot draw oh, dot draw and this will render the image in the top left corner in its originally size. In my case 100 to 100 pixels. Um, to place the image somewhere else on the screen you must understand how the coordinate system from Slick works. 
therefore I have created a little picture. Here we go. Um, the origin from the slick coordinate system is the left top corner of the window. So if we start our game, here is the origin. Here is zero, zero. And then you will um, have an X and an Y axis that will count upwards. Um, so 100 X is here, 200 X is here. So go, so you go right, then higher your numbers go, and you go down, then higher your numbers go. Always remind this because some other coordinate systems from, um, for example, physics engines are um, other coordinate systems. Let's say we want to draw our image um, here. We will have to say slick where the top left corner of our image must be. So let's just do this. Go to our project and change the draw method and give it some more arguments. If you paste in two arguments, um, they will be the position of the image, in our case 100, 100 for the top left corner. So we can just test it. And so here we go, the top left corner is here at 100, 100. You can also change the size of the image by pasting or by passing two more arguments. Let's test it at the double size. I saved the image with 100 to 100 pixels. If you paste in two more arguments to the draw method, the image should appear at the position 100, 100 with the size 200 to 200. So hit enter and there we go. Uh, maybe I should mention that you always first set the x and then the y coordinates or the width and the height. So let's test it and make it this. There we go. Now it's 200 width and 100 high. You can also only render a part of an image, as I show up here. So if we only want to render this quarter of our image, we have also a method where we will need to post some more arguments. So we will need to post where to read the image, so the x and the y from here, the x and the y from here, and where we want to render it. I will show this to you now. You use the draw method, which will take a few more arguments. First of all, the x position and the y position of the top left corner. So let's choose 100 to 100. Then the x and the y position of the um, bottom right corner, where you want to draw your image. So 200 and 200. Now we will render our image from um, with the top left corner 100 100 and the bottom right corner 200 200 as next arguments it will need the x and y from the top left corner of our part of the image we want and the bottom right corner of the end of the part we want so in my case the image is totally 100 pixels and to get the quarter, I will need to go from 0, 0 to 50, 50. So I will just pass it, pass this in, 0, 0 and 50, 50. Now we should only render part of the image. And there we go, we only render the eye. So the part we have selected from 100, 100 to 200, 200. Um, I covered the most basic rendering methods here. Uh, yes, there are some more to um, choose from, but I don't think that there are strictly necessary for beginners. But if you want to use them, you can just read in the wiki of um, Slick2D, or you can ask me in the comments. You can also rotate the image by pasting i dot set rotation and an angel in decrease. So let's say I want to rotate it in 45 degrees and I draw it here. It should be rotated 45 degrees to the right. Okay, I think that's it. I covered the 
basic rendering of images. Everything else should be quite clear, but if you have questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. And I also have a question for you about the music in the background. Do you like the music or not? Is it quiet or should I completely delete the music out of my videos? Because I really don't know if it is good or not. So I would love to see some comments about this in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.